As an example of a titration curve and looking at these different regions, let's look at a, a example of a precipitation titration. So a precipitation titration is sort of the opposite of a solubility product. Uh, in this example, we'll be looking at analyzing chloride by titrating with a solution of silver ions. Uh, the reason we do this is that the silver and chloride will react and form silver chloride solid. Uh, and we choose this reaction because it is both fast and has a very large K value. Uh, if we want K for this reaction, it's the inverse of Ksp, uh, which for silver chloride is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10. So the um, reaction is going to be highly favoring the salt, you know, silver chloride salt. Um, and this is equal to 5.6 times 10 to the 9. So this is something that's going to happen very quickly and has a very large K value, highly favoring the products. Just the sort of thing we want for a titration reaction. Okay, and so what's going to happen is we have our chloride in solution. We have an unknown amount of it, you know, in principle. And we're adding from our burette, we're adding silver plus to it. So we'll start with excess chloride. As we add silver, silver will get will be will react with the chloride. Chloride and precipitate. And we keep adding more silver until there's no more precipitate until well, not until there's no more, until there's no more chloride. All the chloride has reacted. Um, so once we reach the equivalence point, the concentration of our silver will, dr will drastically increase because we'll just be putting in excess silver. In an actual titration, we don't go past the equivalence point, of course, we try and end right at the end point, but we're going to look at what happens to the, this titration curve as we proceed. So the easiest way to look at this is with some uh, specific numbers. So let's imagine we have a uh, titration. We start with 25 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution of chloride. And we're gonna titrate with a standard silver solution that has a concentration of 0.05 molar. And what we're going to look at is what is the concentration of silver over the course of the reaction, or, or sorry, over the course of the titration. Uh, so this is what we're plotting on our titration curve. We're going to plot PAG versus our volume of titrant. So in the next video, we'll look at a, one of the points that's before the equivalence point.